Hi everybody, it's Gaz Jackson and today we are looking at a Belgian Malinois female six months of age we're doing a full evaluation on. Normally I don't start them at this age, but have a look at how confident the dog is. The genetic base is excellent as well as uh, the way they've raised and imprinted the dog. Now in the evaluation what we do is that we'll stalk the dog from a distance and we get to see three zones. The first zone is a non-threat zone where the dog's not bothered by me. Then we get into the threat zone. This little girl had a big threat zone. Her confidence level is great. Her aggression's really nice. She's just that excited. And I've been stalking her all the way through and she has not backed down one little bit, but her drive to get me is just unbelievable. Now this, remember, this is a six month old puppy. I swing the stick down to her face, no reaction and I give her the rag or my shirt off my back to see how she reacts, and she's as happy and proud as punch that she's got it. This is an absolute superb dog for the training of a protection dog later on. And remember, this is only six months of age. She just passed the flying colors. Now, the next one we're doing here is that now I'm doing some light agitation on the dog there. Have a look at how she's carrying herself. Have a look at the way her towel is, her drive. I'm stalking into her, I'm swinging the stick down. Again, with the whip and there is nothing backwards about her. She's uh, that excited. This is such a great dog to be able to work on protection and uh, by the time she's 14 months, she's just gonna be a superb dog and she's not backing down here at, at all. Now this time I put the body bite suit on, she's never done any bite work, and here we go, we just had a bite and a little bit of a shake, and then I slip it to her to give her the confidence. Uh, look, at the, look at the towel again, look at happy as anything, she's smelling my, where my armpits were, yuck, and yep, she's, she's loving it again. That's such a beautiful reaction. Um, so this time I'm going in again, I'm using the whip, um, only one arm in the body bite suit, and I give her a bite, and bite's a little bit softer there, but you gotta remember she's only a puppy. So it's just a matter of exposing her to these experiences. So I give her a bite again, slip the jacket, a little bit of a fight, and then I slip the jacket from here, and then just let her have fun with it, um, sit around, just get her used to it. Absolute brilliant puppy. Here is a 11 month old Belgium Malinois female. We've done the foundation work with her a long time ago, but she's never had a protection lesson. So this is her first one. Now her drive is just through the roof. She is just that excited to get to me. Now she's never had any protection training. This is just a foundation work from a genetically strong bitch. Now I'm putting the bite suit on for the first time with her and I know that she's gonna be ready for the bite. So you don't have to worry about uh, all this other rubbish where you go from a, a rag to a tube to a soft arm to a hard arm. If you've got to do that, the dog's not ready. You develop the foundation and they can go straight on the bite suit. She had a cracker of a bite here. This one hurt and uh, I end up um, having uh, bruises on my wrist because of it. So I slipped the jacket out and now I'm going in again. There is still not one bit of evidence that she's backing down in any way. Just her drive is just super good super excited and with putting um, pressure on her um, and also flicking her with the whip softly she is not backing down she just really wants to nail me so her drive is great now this time here when we put them on the bite suit uh, on the upper arm a few cut few times we generally do it about two or three times then we go straight to the leg and the reason we go straight to the um, leg um, is because if you do an overkill on the upper arm bites then you can actually kick at the dog and the dog doesn't even know how to bite the leg the dog just keeps wanting to go for the um, the upper body. So this is a second bite here on the arm and um, I'm letting her have a little win there. She's pushing against me, um, pushing against me and then um, I'll let, put her feet on the ground and let her pull me back and then I'll pull her forward. So we do a bit of um, play there and also um, I'll slip the jacket out, give some distance between me and the dog and uh, once the dog overcomes that stress threshold then I give her the jacket. Now here, we do possession and frustration as two big tools that we use as a decoy. And uh, now we're doing a bit of uh, possession work over the top of the jacket. I'll balk at trying to get the jacket and then I'll just take it away from her. And sometimes a frustration can work really, really well. Now this time here, I've got one arm behind my back, which indicates that I'm gonna be doing a leg bite. 
and we go up with the leg bite here, uh, put it straight there so the dog can get it, bang, she's straight in. Now look at that, see how she let go when I put my arm there? So I saw this as an element of unsureness because I was over the top of her. So I come in a game, give her a leg bite, she bites it, and I start going back, she's good, and then I move my arm over and she lets go. So now I've identified this weakness, she's given us information. The pants come off for this bitch, and I let her take the pants and just have fun and get used to it. So it's more or less conditioning. And now what I'm doing, I'm over the top of the dog, stalking the dog, trying to take the pants or pretending to take the pants so we can build up the dog's possession there. And the dog's now latching onto it and not letting go. So this is good, this is really good. So um, as a decoy, uh, you've got to identify the signs immediately. Okay, right there, the dog's biting, and we set the jacket, instant win, 